Hey guys, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I'm here at Camp Canyon in North Carolina. They're all partying over there, but I have a GMC Canyon Denali right there. I thought, let's check out what it looks like at night. Now, keep in mind, I just have my cell phone. I don't have anything else, no equipment. Gonna bear with me here. Nice night here in North Carolina. Never actually been here in Asheville. I kinda like it. So here is a white GMC Sierra, or GMC Sierra. <laughs> GMC Canyon Denali, right there. And I, I kept the keys in a secret spot. I'll grab the keys here in a second. Let's go ahead and get those keys. Shh. Secret, secret spot. Okay. Get the key fob. All right. Let's, uh, let's first of all, check out what it looks like inside. Oh, it's all lit up. Here we go. There is the interior at night. The white lights there plane flying overhead up there <laughs> lots of stuff going on this is that denali interior and i just think they've really upgraded this this leather is quilted leather it just finally you know it's like one of those things it's like finally it matches what a denali should really look like inside the cabin here's our setup oh yeah Looks pretty badass. I just, I want to let that play. I didn't, you know, so uh, start, stop button here. Boom. Turn it on. We have the drive mode pop up. We have the entertainment screen pop up. I bought this a little bit more in some likes and dislikes video. You can do some stuff with this. But until you go AT4X, you really can't do, I guess Denali does this as well. But the lower trim, like elevation and AT4 didn't have the same kind of stuff. This, this is what that looks like back there go home there's your screen there there's your lights there boom 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 the auto full drive again shift on the other side kind of interesting electric parking brake usbs we have the auto start stop i'll turn that off uh just because yeah and then we have the hvac system and we have the controls there so a little lighting up there as well all right so let's check out those lights up there and then i'm gonna get a bright there's bright so boom brights not brights Boom brights, not brights. You can definitely see the top of that tree. See the top of that tree going lit? Yeah, interesting stuff. So let's get out and check those lights as well. Because what I'll do is I'll get out. I'll turn on some turret signals. So these are the cabins. Asheville River cabins, by the way. I'm going to give a shout out because they have some pretty badass cabins. Let's turn the lights on. So we have these marker lights here and here. Apparently the big design thing. I love them on the heavy duties. They thought light duty would be kind of cool too. Mid-size cool. They're just kind of taking it through the lineup. They really like this GMC side marker. And I, it's interesting. I looked at, watched a guy, a, a, a dealership talk about these things and he doesn't like them, but I don't know. Interesting look. What do you guys think? Marker lights, no marker lights. So there's our turn signals going crazy, right? And let me go turn that turn signal off and we'll get a cleaner look at the front end. But I'm curious what you guys think of these marker lights. I've, uh, yeah, I've heard some hate on them. I've not heard some hate. Let's turn the lights off there. There you go. Little cabin. People make a big deal. They're like, you know, they're, they're plastic dipping these and covering them up, but you have a GMC on there. You can see, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, on my camera, it says GMC there. It's, it's, my camera's not behaving the way it should, but all right. So we come back here. Let's go back right in the middle. There is our, what it looks like on the outside. Daytime running lights, lights down below. There we go. I don't have any fog lamps. I don't see any fog lamps on. Well, they're right there. There's the fog lamps. All right. Got to turn those babies on. Let's go ahead and uh, check out the back. We'll check the fog lamps here in a minute. Check out the back. Boom, right? There is at night. I wonder if I drop this tailgate, if it lights up the bed. There's LEDs in the bed. Oh, it's not working. What's going on? Where's my uh, key fob? There's my key fob. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, unlocked. Locked. Okay, where's our lights back here? Huh. I don't have any LED lights back here. Nothing at all. The bed is dark. That's kind of a disappointment. Denali trim, dark bed. No LED lights. Look at that. Huh. 
Huh, I'm a little, um, frankly, disappointed in that. And oh, my goodness. Is that that heavy? Okay, we have a damp, damper tailgate. Lift this up. It's really interesting how heavy that is. I mean, it's one-handed still. I'm not a weakling, but interesting. I'm, I'm surprised there's no lights in the bed. Maybe they figure it's a small enough bed. You have the light up there, right? So you should have a chisel lamp. What's going on here, guys? Okay, let's check this out. So I do the lights over. <gasps> They're not over here. No, 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 no. We made the change this year, right? So we had the lights here. So if I do this, I can turn on the fog lamps and the headlights, right? Or do I do headlights and fog lamps? Interesting. If I go in here, go lights, I can turn fog lamps on. I can turn cargo lights on. And I can go high beam, auto high beams, headlights on. So I, headlights on, auto on, but if I do the, the thing, Hmm, not a fan of that, but let me see if I turn that on. So I turn that on, fog lamps on, and then cargo lights are on. So let's check this out again. I'm not sure I like that. Like it's a little cumbersome. So check the front. Boom, okay, fog lamps are on, they're right there. Little glaze there on the camera, I'm sorry about the glaze. Best I can do, let me get the shine out of the way a little bit. But. Yeah, fog lamps on, it goes on. And then cargo lights. Yeah, the cargo lights on in the bed. So now we have the bed lit up. You gotta turn the cargo light on with the light menu. So now the bed's lit up. Now that's nice, right? So you don't need LED lights because you have the cargo lamp there, but you gotta use the controls inside the cabin to turn that on through the menu system. Why the hell is that tailgate so heavy? And like, I feel like I haven't lifted weights all year. Like, I'm not lived. I, I, I'm a weakling. Like, I have no strength. God, why is that so heavy? I need some more, maybe aluminum or something. I don't, you know, I know people don't like aluminum, but that's weird. That's definitely weird. I don't know. I, I I'm not gonna say I, it's lightweight or heavyweight. I, I don't know, but that's really interesting. So again, back in the cabin. And then again, the control there is I can change the setting there, different things going on. Okay, but then, yeah, you have to go here. You can't use the the quick connect kind of, the quick, you know, system here. If I turn on auto, it turns off the fog lamps, right? Does it do that? The fog lamps are on. So this is weird. So like I can turn them off there and turn the fog lights off there. Kind of what a pain in the ass, though. I mean, really, like, interesting. And then, no, I can reset the auto next startup. So if I if I turn them off, it resets the auto. That's interesting stuff. What do you guys think? Put your comments down below. Uh, this is more detailed now. It's just it's interesting because you get the chance to check check this out at night. A rare chance to check it out at night here on this program usually doesn't happen. I was able to do it. Oh, heads up display. I can just rotation and brightness. I don't know if I can. There it is, right there. You guys can. Well, it's heads up display is so hard to show on camera. You can oh, there you go. You can see it there. I can adjust uh, brightness. I can adjust height. Move it around a little bit on me. Let me do the height. Yeah, I can move that up and down. All right. Again, hard to tell on camera that that's it. Heads up display. Move it around. I can change the brightness, rotation. But yeah, interesting stuff that I can't. Like on this screen, I can't control that stuff, but on this screen, I can go in and turn on my cargo lights that way. It seems like one additional step. Hmm. Anyways, let me know what you think. Put your comments down below. As always, Tim Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I will see you down the road. Hmm.